Welcome to all of you in Box Bunker Lecture Series. In previous videos, you have learned how to design RSM study and how to analyze RSM data. In this video, you will learn how to optimize data as well as how to generate RSM graphs. So for that purpose, I have already opened the file which I previously saved. You can also open it and start this tutorial. But before that, if you are interested to generate table and graph for RSM research article, you can watch the part 4 and 5 lecture series on CCD design. So let's start this tutorial. Firstly, in analysis section, you can select any response for that you are interested to generate graph. For example, I want to generate graph for droplet size. So I will select this one. Here you can see different tabs. Click on model graph and here different graph option appeared. For example, it is perturbation, one factor, all factor, interaction, contour, 3D, cubic, Firstly, we will learn this perturbation graph. This graph shows the which factor mostly influence your response. For example, currently we have selected droplet size. So it shows the B factor has most influence on droplet size. And if you click on any line, you can see here that its color is changed now. For example, I click on this B factor and you can easily observe that B factor has more influenced on droplet size as compared to A and C. Secondly, if you are want to export this graph to what, simply right click on this area and go to this export option and here you will find the option of export graph to what, click on it. Select export as enhanced meta file and click on OK. Then this graph will be exported to Word. So you can see here this graph is exported here and you can further edit it if you want to crop it or you want to use it as such. You can follow similar procedure to export all this graph. I will not repeat that. Similarly, if you want to edit these labels, simply right click, go to graph preferences and here you will find the option plenty of options of editing this graph and if you want to change the color you can use this option and if you want to interested to change the text you can use this option you will find the plenty of option here now if you want to edit these labels simply right click go to edit text you can write any name here and it will be changed here for example if i want to remove these nanometer and click OK. You can see here it's changed now. Here you will find the option of sheet in factor tool. Click on sheet. You can see here these are factors, values. You can even change this value using this option. I will not change it. I will click on OK. Next we will move to other graph which is one factor graph. It shows the factor one by one. For example, currently it is term A and it affect on droplet size. If I change to term B, independent, this is the independent variable B effect. And it are, these are all shown in perturbation graph, you can easily show here. And if you want to interest that all the factors response shows on one window, you can click on all factor and these all graphs appeared here. Now we will move to next interaction graph. These are the graphs which shows the interaction among independent variable and you can change the term. For example, it is for factor A and B. You can even change it to AC or BC. When these lines cross each other, it shows the interaction between these and if they did not cross each other, then it shows there is no interaction between these. Now here is an important graph which is contour graph. These contour graphs and 3D surfaces are mostly used. And if you want to change these labels, I have already explained, you can use the graph preferences option. Furthermore, there is, you can see here, it shows the homogenization time and temperature effect on droplet size. And third variable is at constant. For example, third variable is surfactant. If you click on it, you can see here it is factor value is 2 
and if you change its value it's, this graph will be changed for example i want to change it to here you can see it its graph is start changing i will click on default then it will automatically selected on central point similarly if you want to add flag right click and here you will find the option of add flag and flag is added here if you again click on it you can even move flag for example on left on right bottom whatever you want and if you want to delete it right click and delete flag next there is a prediction versus actual graphs and it should be lin linear if these are not linear then it shows that there is a fault in your model and uh, this shows the actual values and it shows the predicted if you click on any uh, dot you can see here it's the actual value is 100 and the predicted value is 99.62 next here is the option of 3d surface and in 3d surface graph you can easily move it you can see here if you drag it it will start rotating and you can change these labels and this graph color by using graph preferences option and if you interested to add change uh, edit axis you can use this option you can edit this axis using this option and if you click on it and go to uh, graph preferences then you can see there is a plenty of option as i earlier explained now if you want to add flag on it right click and click on add flag you can see here flag is added here if you want to delete this flag right click delete flag and here as i discussed in contour graph the third variable is at central point and these are the two variables which are changing and their effect on droplet size is recorded here and if you are interested that to generate the graph of bc term you can select here then you can see here that this is the graph of the b and c independent variable and a independent variable is at constant at zero value sorry there is another option of cubic click on it and you will get the cubic graph now we will move to optimization there are two options one is numerical optimization and other is graphical optimization graphical optimization is not mostly used and numerical optimization is preferred so i will use this one in numeric optimization firstly you will find the option of criteria tab here you will set your criteria for example for independent variable as well as response firstly i will select homogenization time and i want to minimize this there is different option you can select your goal for example if you want to keep the value in certain range you can select in range option if you have target value you can select this one if you want maximize select this one and equal to you can use this option so i will use minimize option and here and uh, there are different weight option if you are uh, you think that these are equally weighted then you can leave this value as such and and as additionally there is the option of importance if you think that this factor is important or this response is important you can select this importance using this option for example if one factor is more important you can select it for either five star or four star and other are less important you can select either three star in this tutorial i will select three stars with equal importance for all of these and weight will be one next is the temperature i also want to minimize it and its importance is three sign next is surfactant i also want to minimize it droplet size i want minimum droplet size so i will select minimum and these are setting uh, these setting i have already explained so i will not repeat it in each response or independent variable 
I want minimum poly dispersity index and viscosity I want minimum. Then go to this solution tab. After selecting all these goals, click on solution. Here you will find the option of different. For example, it shows that there is your goal. It is lower limit, it is upper limit, the weight you have set, upper weight and importance you have set. And here you will find the option of solutions. There are 36 solutions. Select that solution which have maximum desirability. Ideally, it should be 0 0.7 or above. And after that, you can use this graph option if you are interested. Go to this post analysis option and point prediction. Here you will find option of factor, name, level and different option here. And if you want to confirm your result, click on it. And for example, you have uh, using homogenization time 218.671 and temperature 4.82 and surfactant 1.6078 which is predicted by software and you have conducted different analysis for, to see how many uh, predicted values there is a difference between predicted value and the actual value while running this experiment so for example our droplet size is 190 and poly dispersity index is 0 0.42 and viscosity is 1.45 if you want to add another run here you will see that the data means will be automatically calculated here for example I write 185 you can see here the mean data mean is here so it will automatically calculate the mean values if you enter the three values here so thanks for watching this tutorial if you're interested to generate the tables as well as, well as graph then i have already explained you can watch the part 4 and 5 of ccd design thanks for watching